GMS can import several types of image files and display them in the background to help in model creation. Here is an aerial photo as a TIFF file. It comes with a word file and a projection file. GMS can import TIFF, JPEG, PNG, SID, and ECW image files. GMS has an option to generate image pyramids when importing images. Image pyramids are simply copies of the image resampled at different resolutions. GMS uses the information in the word file to position the image. The coordinates in the status bar indicate the image has been positioned correctly. With the image in the correct location, we can start to build a conceptual model. If you have an image file that doesn't come with a word file, you can georeference it in GMS. Registration points are positioned at known locations and the coordinates are entered. Now the image is displayed in the right location. In addition to the word file, an image may or may not come with projection information. The projection information may be in a projection file or in the case of a geotiff, may be embedded in the image file. This image has a projection file. The projection is UTM with units of meters. The coordinates are around 600,000 in X and 4 million in Y. This image also has a projection file. The projection is state plane with units of feet. The coordinates are around 2 million in X and 6 million in Y. We will bring in both images at the same time. The images are correctly positioned next to each other. GMS uses on-the-fly projection to position the state plane image in the UTM coordinate system. If we change the display projection to state plane, GMS projects the image with UTM coordinates on the fly so it appears in the correct state plane location. We will set the display projection back to UTM. Let's import some more images. Images are displayed in the order they appear in the Project Explorer. The order can be changed by simply dragging. Images can be turned on and off, and the transparency of each image can be changed.
GMS can texture map images to the top surface of tents, meshes, and grids. If you have ActMap, you can get free image data from map server layers. GMS ships with several different map layers you can add to the project. These maps are dynamically updated as you pan and zoom. Images can be exported from GMS as bitmaps, JPEGs, PNGs, or TIFFs. Whatever is currently displayed in the graphics window will get saved in the image file. Also, GMS will create a world file and a projection file with the image. 